Hi, this is Andrew at softwaremedia.com with a tutorial on how to convert a digital image into a flash animation. Alright, the first step we're going to do here is we're going to start in Adobe Fireworks and we're going to grab our image by going File, Open, and grab any digital, digital image you have. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate my hand so it's waving to all of you. And we are going to make my head bob back and forth because it's goofy. So, what we're going to do first, we need to get rid of this background area. And how we do that is over here, you'll see the magic wand tool. I'm going to click on that, select the background area, and you can change your tolerance down here. Obviously, I want to select as much as I can without selecting part of my hand or myself. Once that is it, you just hit your delete key, and it will delete the background. Now grab, grab your pointer tool and double click anywhere on the stage to get that uh, selection off. Now we need to get rid of the rest of this background here. So click on my cell, then go over here and click the erase tool, and click and drag over the background you want to get rid of. Just all this junk. So give me a second here while I do that. Now a good way to test to see if you got everything is click outside so you get the properties of the page here and change your canvas color to like a dark color or like black and then you'll see uh, all the background is gone that we have. Now we need to import myself into Flash by clicking on the image, right click, edit, copy, opening our Flash program, file new, Flash file, before we do anything we're going to file save, we're just going to overwrite the one I did before and I'm going to save it as Andrew Waving High dot FLA. And yes, I want to replace my old one. And I'm going to right click in the stage and hit paste. Leave everything default selected. And here it comes in. I'm going to position it down at the bottom. And to clean up the library here, you'll notice that if your library is not up, hit F11 and that will pull up your library. Uh, double click on the folder Fireworks Objects and copy, copy to and you'll see the bitmap image down there. Now we want to get it out of those folders. I just like to do that. It cleans it up a little bit in the library, so I'm going to drag it outside and then I'm going to click on the Fireworks Objects folder and hit my delete key. Now you notice I'm gone. I'm not on the stage anymore, but uh, as you can see I'm still in the library. So what we're going to do is drag the bitmap back onto the stage. Click in here and there I am. And we're going to convert this to a symbol by clicking on it. Modify, convert to symbol, I'm going to name it G body. Now that we've converted that to symbol, we need to isolate and break off the hand and the head. So to do that, we'll double click on myself, which we allows us to get in the body symbol itself. Once in here, select on the image, click modify, bitmap, trace bitmap. And what we're going to do here is convert this image to a vector graphic, which allows us to select any part of the image we want and maneuver it. So we're going to hit OK, and as you can see, all of me is selected and converted to a vector image. Now we just want to select the hand and convert that into a symbol. So in order to do that, grab the lasso tool over here, select around the hand, and then I'm going to cut it off right at the sleeve here. Go ahead and connect that lasso tool together. You'll see it just selects the hand. Now, before you do anything else, hit Modify, Convert to Symbol, and name it G Hand and you'll know it's a symbol because it has a blue outline around it. Now grab your pointer tool and we we don't want the hand in the body symbol so we're going to go ahead and select it and hit the delete key get rid of that but don't worry it's still in our library down here as you can see. So now we're going to do the same thing with the head so we need to go get the lasso tool again drag around the head selects just the head hit modify convert to symbol G head enter and then once you enter the it's converted to symbol you see the blue outline around it and you can go ahead and delete that by hitting the delete key now we're just left with the body inside the body symbol but the head and the hand are in the library as sim as their own symbols now we want to go back to scene one by clicking scene one up here on the left top and we see that we have the body now we're going to go down here in the layer in the timeline we need two more layers one for the hand and one for the head so we're going to click New Layer twice, and as you see, the keyframe on Layer 1 is filled with the body, so we're going to double-click on Layer 1 and rename it Body. Double-click on Layer 2, rename it Hand, 
So we'll click on layer 3 and rename it head. And we're going to drag the hand layer by clicking and dragging below the body. So when we rotate the hand, it rotates up in the sleeve and not in front of it. Now we need to place the hand symbol on the hand layer by clicking on the first keyframe in the hand layer, grabbing the hand symbol out of the library, clicking and dragging it onto the screen. Once we got on the screen, we need to line it up to where we cut it off by using the arrow keys. There we go. Okay, once we have done that, then we want to get the head on the stage by clicking on the first keyframe of the head layer, clicking and dragging the head symbol onto the stage, position it with our arrow keys. We want to go back down to the hand layer and we're going to make the hand wave back and forth. And what we're going to do first, we got to right click on the keyframe, hit create classic tween. It makes it so we can uh, apply motion to this object. We're going to click out on frame 10 and hit F6, which copies the previous frame on to frame 10, click out on frame 20, click F6 as well. And now frame 1 and frame 20 are the same and we're going to keep those the same. And frame 10 is the one we're going to actually rotate the hand. Oh, you'll notice that the body has disappeared. In order to get the body to stay on the screen the whole time, it needs to come out the full of 20 frames. In order to do that, click on the body layer, frame 20, and hit F5, which just carries that keyframe all the way over to frame 20 and now we see the body. Now we want to go back and select the keyframe on frame 10 on the hand layer and because since that's one we're going to edit and make rotate we're going to go over here on the toolbar, click free transform tool, hover outside of the hand until you see the circular arrow, click and drag to the left till whatever amount you want to rotate the hand, click the selection tool um, click on the hand and use the arrow keys to position it to where it looks like it just rotate it inside of the sleeve here. Now we're going to click outside of there. We're done with the hand. Now we're going to go to the head and click on the first keyframe in the head layer. Right click on it. Hit create classic tween. We're going to make the head bob twice right and left. So we're going to go on frame 5 and hit F6. Frame 15, F6. Frame 20 and F6. And remember frame 20 and 1 are going to be the same starting and ending position. But frame 5, we want to rotate it a little bit. So let's click on frame 5 in the head layer. Go up here, hit our free transform tool. Hover outside the head until you see the circular arrow. Move it just slightly to the left. Then grab our selection tool and use our arrow keys. Now we're going to go on frame 15 and you'll see it selected. Grab the free transform tool, do the same thing except tilt it to the right a little bit. Click the selection tool again use our arrow keys, position that in the right spot. We'll save our document and file save. And now I want to test it out by hitting control enter. So there you have it. And that's how you turn a digital image into a vector image and animate it however you want. Once again this is Andrew with softwaremedia.com over and out.